Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day's trading session, the 12th of June 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, European market close numbers, you have the FTSE down 15 points. It certainly did book the trend initially, led by oil and obviously uh, GBP weakness as well. It certainly negated the weaker retail sales number that certainly came out overnight from Visa, indicating uh, real wages certainly hurting. Uh, and now also uh, with regards to the fact that obviously uh, a weaker sterling certainly does feed into a uh, stronger inflation. Uh, inflation is tamed somewhat now due to the price, fall in the uh, price of oil. German DAX down 125 following its pair in the US, uh, given the fact that there is a, a strong connection and correlation between the DAX and the NASDAQ. Uh, also, the CAC certainly coming under pressure as well, down 60 points, even though Mr. Uh, Macron certainly seems to be having an overwhelming majority in terms of the elections. FTSE MIB down 212, certainly uh, hurt quite substantially. The IBEX as well in the stock 600. So certainly it was a tech-led sell-off. Uh, triggered by Nasdaq on uh, on Friday night. The only index that really booked the trend was a FTSE. Uh, it was certainly praying positive for quite a lot of the session until it uh, eventually uh, obviously succumbed later on to selling. Okay, now uh, US markets certainly mixed. You have the Nasdaq, certainly the weakest link, whilst the S&P is certainly booking the trend and the Dow to a large extent as well, certainly with regards with reference to talk uh, of, uh, of uh, the uh, additional stimulus infrastructure spending, especially given the fact that Comey tapes are out of the way now and that controversy certainly has been put to bed to a large extent, and the market's totally ignored it. Okay, now in terms of uh, economic data for the rest of the day, let's just look at fundamentals. Really, you had uh, Japanese machine owners, certainly on the weaker side. Obviously, Apple led sell off uh, in tech, that certainly was a focus as well. Uh, we also had the uh, potential uh, political chaos in the UK now with the, uh, the Conservatives aligning with this so called terrorist linked organization, the DUP. That has some real radical views. Uh, whether or not they actually agree with them and actually work with them is a totally different question altogether. And, and any potential minority government has, hasn't has lasted that long. And especially given the fact that uh, uh, Theresa May really is an incompetent dimwit, really from, to a large extent, especially given the fact that she's lost a, a majority and uh, she certainly has uh, caused her party to suffer to a large extent due to her very small... Uh, knit uh, potential group of um, uh, individuals and her autocratic approach certainly hasn't worked if anything it's backfired to a large uh, extent so again that certainly is negative okay also with regards to Fitch Moody and the S&P certainly looking and uh, revising down the ratings of the UK obviously is risk negative as well now let's look at the actual fundamentals let's see exactly where we stand uh, again, ultimately, it's price action that dictates and decides. Uh, it certainly does uh, factor in all the bearish news and trades accordingly. Now, the German DAX, really, it's um, a bearish day today. Okay, a 60-minute chart. You certainly have held support down in this region at 12.660 now. Obviously, back into that gap fill zone. Okay, 10-minute chart. We certainly close the gap below, which was at 12.670, hitting a pivot lower, 12.666. Six. Ooh, the devil's number. Okay, so that basically is your status quo. Now you have resistance above 12.710. If you can crack through that, then we can certainly go and attempt that gap at 12.820. Okay, or we can hit the pivot high here. You also have horizontal support equals resistance. So again, watch out for this zone two, which is again at 12.730, 12.740, and then 12.780, and ultimately 12.820 gap fill. Now, if the Nasdaq can start to reverse and the buyers come back and buy, start buying the dip. Given the fact that it's, a, it's been a Teflon market for quite some time now, then you could certainly see a rally uh, ensuing as well. Okay, now bear with me one second whilst I just maintain the, okay, the uh, voice levels are fine. Okay, so that's the status quo with regards to the NASDAQ. Let's look at the rest of the indices now. You're looking at the French CAC, uh, the French CAC daily chart. Let's go to the French CAC. Again, you're looking at testing that key support below at 5230. You've got an unfilled gap left behind at 5405. 60 minute chart. You certainly are holding support. Obviously, if you crack this, then you are looking go to move lower down to 5130, then they eventually go to gap fill at 5060. Now, that can only really occur given if, if Mr. Draghi certainly comes out uh, all guns blaming in terms of uh, his hawkish stance, and that hasn't been the case at all. Mr. Draghi certainly is sticking to his uh, dovish stance, and uh, given the fact that QE reigns of supreme, it's very hard to see European in indices moving in the opposite direction. Yes, US markets have derailed the move temporarily, 
and whether or not that's a permanent move, it's yet to be seen. So again, all eyes in the gap fill above. So if anything, markets generally tend to pivot towards that 10 minute. It certainly has that double up bottom support at 5235. Looking at the FTSE 100 now, let's just bring up the index for you. The FTSE 100, FTSE. Okay, so just to recap on the FTSE 100 here uh, in terms of the video. Okay, so daily chart on the FTSE 100 has a H&S formation. We have a bullish engulfing candle on the um, Friday, the 9th of June. Okay, given the post-election situation or scenario. We are coming into this right shoulder now. The head is at 7,600, if I can, if I recollect, 7. 600 the neckline now is currently at 7450 so therefore projecting a 7300 target on the downside so keep an eye on that right shoulder for the FTSE 100 today the uh, <clears throat> uh, the GBP USD certainly fell quite sharply which in turn obviously provided a stimulus for the FTSE 100 given in terms of exports as you can see here the uh, GBP USD has hit a pivot low of 1.2636 okay and therefore is providing a potential stimulus for the FTSE also in terms of oil as well that certainly helped the FTSE today as well in terms of looking at the oil chart 60 minute chart you can see we're flushing now from that 46.6 oil prices certainly did help the uh, the actual uh, or FTSE itself now certainly have put in a double bottom looking for a higher low here before we start to uh, march on on upwards okay now in terms of the FTSE going back to the FTSE 100 again 60 minute chart holding resistance at 7540 okay so you are still looking at a lower high do we make a lower low that's the question okay do we make a lower low? It certainly seems like the market certainly is happy with uh, the uh, Tory government thus far. Having said that, we have support below if we continue to flush at 7495, 7480, and then obviously ultimately gap fill at 7450. Okay. In terms of the European or Euro stocks, last but not least, you you certainly have a base being built here at uh, 3540. If that cracks, then you are looking at breaking lower down to 3530 and then potentially down to gap fill at 3440. So keep an eye on the uh, Euro stocks in terms of the next move. Again, let's see if we can hold this double bottom. If this cracks, then uh, certainly uh, risk off. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.